what's up you guys this is Rob from a gay guy plays and today on in a flash we're gonna take a very quick look at update 19.9.0 now I really wasn't planning on doing anything too lengthy for this episode mainly because of the fact that nothing really major came out um, but I did want to touch on a couple quick things because we got some fashion frame stuff but before we get on to that let's go ahead and take a look at something you'll see on your screen real quick so we do have the quick steal event which is for conclave which basically gives you a nakana and some hiku stars to throw around um basically what's going to be happening is that there's going to be several 48 hour um like event thingies like this on your map and they'll each award little um i guess cosmetic items for you with one of them being a like in orbiter thing you know, like a, something that you can put on your ship and whatnot. So make sure you guys get that done. Um, I'll be honest with you, I was actually shocked because I read the whole thing wrong. I really read, basically what I read is like, if you lose, you get one point. If you win, you get three points. But technically what they counted in the game as a win is placed in the top three. I didn't read all the informations correctly, but I was able to knock it out in, um, I was able to knock it out in three games. I didn't want to capture any footage for you because I'm really, really bad at pvp but i did manage to get in the top three each and every time one time i was so close i was so close there was like a minute left on the counter and i was in the top spot and then i just fucked it all up but i think i got in second place on that one it was second or third place clearly um because i was in the top three so make sure to get that done because you're gonna get cool little fun things and i'll actually show you one of the uh today's thing right now which is fashion framey so let's get rid of this attachment um, so that we can see it a little bit better and maybe we can get rid of the, the bow thing because that's going to get <laughs> in the way. Now you guys get to see one of my secrets. A lot of people have asked about this. How do I make it so that my Warframe doesn't show um, any weapons in the Orbiter thing? And uh, I'll show you real quick. Basically, you, equip, you unequip their primary and their secondary and then it automatically, when you lo lo load back into it, it's not going to show any of the um, any of the bits. So just, just you know, FYI's for you. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into the back sigil real quick, and we'll go ahead and show you the new glyph. I actually don't really know what it's called, and I'm wondering what we're going to be getting for the rest of the week because it looks like it's probably just going to be this stuff. It's kind of cool because it kind of looks like a skull. Well, that didn't show it up very well. Now did it? Um, let's toss in something like, oh, no, 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 well that's, there you go, that's how it looks. And that's actually a pretty good color on this, uh, on this outfit. It, it almost looks like, like, the trace of a skull. Like, it's got little skull teeth and whatnot over there. Um, fits fairly well on a lot. There's no crazy, like, um, energy effects that come off of it, but hey, as a fashion frame completionist, if you guys want this shit, just go and do the event. Now, as you can see, we're moving on to another fashion frame item here, which is going to be the new Avara helmet. Sorry, I, I hate it when it's like, um, we're looking at them fashion frame wise, and it's the Zerastra helmet. This is 75 um, plat in the market. It looks like one of those like um, Chinese rice picker hats. Is, is that racist? I don't know what to call it. I, I, feel, I feel like kind of dirty saying that. I'm like, oh no, I'm a bad Asian. Um, the, I do have a couple complaints about this. I think, I still think the aesthetic overall looks pretty good, but what I don't like is how these panels kind of like swatch down. Kind of look like ripped up toilet paper. You know, I'm not trying to rag on anybody, but the real issue for me is that it does not kind of fit this aesthetic here. As you can see, it's the same energy color. It's the same energy color, but it doesn't look the same across all across all iterations of it, and it doesn't have the same texture. So while I do quite, I like the shape and I like the face of it. Um, I don't like the energy effect, and the other thing that I don't like is how I believe it's the accents take the the way that the accents take colors. It looks a little bit rubbery to be honest with you. Like I, I tried it on several of the different frames and I noticed that using brighter colors kind of made it look a little bit obnoxious. Let's go ahead and take a look. I know it's gonna bring all of that, but if you notice, like I really don't like how it takes that color. It, it the, the light playing off of it does not look all that great. Um, and the same thing goes for this one. I actually had to go through and kind of recustomize like, it looks a little plasticky, um, but 
overall, I like the shape and I like the face of it. I think it looks pretty, it looks pretty darn cool, but that one's going to be really up to you. The next one that we're going to take a look at is the, where are ya? Anaros. Anaros and Avara. They both, they both have eyes in their name. So this, some people were talking lots of shit about this. I think it looks pretty fucking badass. I don't know, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I really like, I really like the looks of it. I think it looks so cool. And it's a nice change because I'll be honest, the initial helmet for him made him like, I was like, no, no thank you. I didn't think that that was a great helmet for him. The Anubis one, however, fucking perfect. And that's actually the helmet that I should be having on this look right here. Um, but the Inaros Canopic helmet, Actually, I think it looks pretty freaking good. So I actually did a customization on here, altered out a previous a previous one that you'll find a different in uh, the old Dress to Kill video, and I actually tossed it on there. And I think that looks really, really good. I don't know about the rest of you guys how how your feels about it are, but it still keeps that kind of like Mummy King look about him, um, and it makes it look more regal instead of kind of cheesy. Like I don't I don't know. I really did not like the. I really did not like that helmet. I don't I don't know what that was. But this, I think I think that looks pretty goddamn good. The only thing that I'm not super super and this is me being nitpicky, this is me being crazy, is like I don't really like the texture work right there. That that texture work kind of bugs me a little bit. Right on right on right on the mouth the mouth hole area. But aside from that, I think it looks pretty good overall. This one I'm like definitely if you're a Naros fan, pick this one up. I think it looks really badass. Um, of course, only if you like it. I won't pressure you. The Avara one, I was like, I could take it or leave it. Um, the the Avara one, yeah, I could definitely take it or leave it because of like the toilet paper strands that came down from it. Um, but this one, I'm definitely going to be rocking. Uh, and I feel like that is pretty much it for this episode. There's really not too much else that um, has really been launched that was really of note or mentionable. The only thing I do want to give you guys a big heads up on is we have finally launched it, we have finally announced it. There's going to be a massive 72 hour stream and I believe that it begins on February 17th. Um, it's actually going to start after the dev stream. I'm going to be making three different appearances on there. Um, one for the after dev stream kind of like wrap up, talk about stuff kind of thing. I'm also going to be on the uh, 10 o'clock, uh, the, the 10, the 10 o'clock with Zeno, Gellion, and uh, Mr. Laws, Dr. Laws, Mr. Laws, MD, MD Law, oh, Jesus, it's Laws, it's Laws to me, but I know that there are letters in front of there, and I'm also going to have my own stream, which is going to be a very, very early morning stream for me, so um, I'm planning on being some form of inebriated, there's going to be probably some energy drinks, and some alcohol that goes along with that, uh, so be sure to tune in, again, that's in February that's coming up, and I've got a couple of the little projects on the side that um, are pretty that we're probably going to be teasing out very very soon so that's pretty much it for now I'm going to let you guys go I'm going to work on some more hefty things for the channel that you guys should be seeing tomorrow but until then as always love somebody hurt nobody and touch yo body I will see you guys next time Bye bye Oh, wait a second. Don't leave yet. There is a little bit of an addendum. There are a couple things that I did miss out on, um, which is number one, and I know that this is really, really minor, but I know that a lot of people had complaints about this. This is like a teensy, teensy tiny thing, but um, for the new Tonfa stance, the Sovereign Outcast one that we saw on the Oma, that one is actually, the first swing on that one has actually been sped up in animation speed, so you should not feel so slow about it. Now, so if that's, if you guys had that kind of complaint, over the new Tonsa stance, go ahead and try it out and see how it feels to you because they did say that they would speed it up. And there's another little thing. Um, there is a glyph display that you can pick up and actually, you know what? Let's just do it for the video. Let's do it for the video. Um, and you can actually go ahead and let's let's find a non shitty place to put it. <laughs> As you guys know, I don't like putting too many things up on my orbiter. I think I'm like, ugh. It's gonna be it's gonna be gross looking, but let's go ahead and put this up real fast. Landing craft, place decorations. Okay, we're gonna hit one. I don't do this too often, you guys. There it is. Display glyph. We're gonna select that. And then what? Okay, we're gonna put that there. Click. And then we're gonna swap the glyph into you know what? Somebody got me one of the winter packs that I really really like and it was super super cute they gifted it to me and I love this puppy 
<laughs> it's so cute. Oh my god, the holidays are done. The holidays are done, I should not do it. But I will, because it's the best. <laughs> Look at his little puppy face. Oh, all right. Oh, why is it all staticky? Oh, it's because it's done. Okay, cool. So, we are done. Um, that pretty much covers everything. That was 20 plat in the market if you guys want to place glyphs and decorations. And you know what? Um, let's go ahead and put some, uh, put some glyphs in the description box. I, I'm gonna put it at the very, very bottom of the description box, alright? Mm, sneaky deaky for all of you guys out there. And probably a lot of people are gonna miss it. So don't tell them. Don't tell- Just tell them that you got the glyph, but don't tell them where the glyph is. They gotta watch till the very end. Anyway, you guys take care. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!